One of the many research projects within the Chair of Fluid Systems is an active air spring damper system. The active air spring works by changing its load carrying area actively while the system is running. The load carrying area of an air spring is defined by the highest points of the rolling fold at the top of the system. Changing this area alters the axial force produced by the system, which works to control the fluctuations applied. A double bellows concept is used within this air spring. The load carrying surface is a ring, and only small changes in the piston diameter are needed to produce relatively great area changes. Displacements of only a few millimeters produce a relative area change of 40%. This simulation with a so-called quarter car model visualizes how the active air spring damper works. This quarter car model is a two mass oscillating system with a base excitation, which can be generated for example by a road profile. This simple model is a good approach to examine the vertical dynamics of a vehicle. The strut is mounted between the body mass and the wheel mass, and the wheel is modeled as a linear spring. The spring force is adjusted by changing the diameter of the top area of the air spring. In this simulation, the damping is done pneumatically, and the oscillation energy is dissipated at the nozzle of the air spring. In the right figure, the axial force F of the strut is plotted over the compression Z. The black line shows the typical hysteresis curve if the rolling piston diameter is held constant. The pressure inside of the air spring and the axial force are proportional and increase if the air spring is compressed. The stiffness of the air spring is greater than zero. By changing the rolling piston diameter, which changes the load carrying area, it is possible to keep the axial force almost constant. If the air spring pressure rises, the piston decreases the load carrying area, and vice versa. It is even possible to produce a negative stiffness. This so-called four-quadrant operation is characteristic for an active strut. Now let's take a closer look from the top of the air spring. In this top view, you can see the bellows at the top of the system along with the metal segments that are attached to the active piston. Four of these segments are evenly distributed along the piston's circumference. As these segments push on the bellows, the load carrying area of the air spring is increased. A compact hydraulic actuator, which is integrated in the rolling piston of the air spring, was developed and is now used in the second prototype. Here you can see one of the displacement sensors that monitors the position of the segments that manipulate the bellows. Here you can see the active piston in action. It actively adjusts the axial force of the air spring. Here the active air spring is being used within a hardware in the loop simulation, which is often shortened to hill simulation. Hardware in the loop simulations are used to develop and test complex real-time systems like this active air spring by simulating an environment using mathematical models and software emulations. In this clip, a ride over a highway at 100 km per hour with a quarter car model is simulated. Thank you for watching this video. Please feel free to contact us if you would like more information about this project or if you have any questions.